what's up, dude? Oh, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Oh. <laughs> you Not look, too bad. You look comfy. Yeah, bro. You haven't seen this thing yet. Dude, it looks crazy. Yo, get in here, bro. Oh, nice. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Yo, this is really roomy, actually. Yeah, it's pretty sick. This is really dope. Yeah. Wow. The full screen windows. That's crazy. That's huge. Yeah, dude. And when that back pops up, Damn. it's going to be epic. It'll be a little easier getting out when we've got a hatch on it. <laughs> so what are we getting into today, man? Well, we got some race repair to do, my friend. We're still limping from cars and cameras a little bit, but nothing we can't handle. We got some carb cleaning to do on both my cart and Big Bob's. Uh, we got to replace the boots that hold our carburetors on because those got pretty beat up because I left them too long. That's on me, I'm sorry. But what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> they worked. Dang well. Dang well. <laughs> Second place well, if I say so myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, we've got to weld up the red cart steering because that came loose with all the sending as well as we'll take a look at the brakes. Not sure if we're gonna tackle it today, but Redbeard gave me a pretty good idea of how we might be able to get some better braking for these massive machines. So some cool stuff, some fun stuff, and I'm ready to get to it, dude. Let's do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> how much of this pipe are 428. Jeez. That should be purple. <laughs> Still kicking though. <laughs>
that? No, it's sick. All right, bro, time to get our steering fixed up. Oh, it's been dumb pushing this thing around without a wheel. <laughs> um, I didn't have enough splines, spline shafts when I was building this to put it all together legit. So I ended up just putting a basically rod that fits in there, welding it up, but the welds that I had weren't enough. So we're gonna re-weld that up real nice, try not to burn through my wires and uh, we'll see how it goes. Trailer's on. Look at her. Oh my god. First test, dude? How was the ride back there? It was honestly, I it was really not bad at all. Hey, Seriously, you don't weigh very much, but did you feel any kind of relief of the from the springs? Yeah, no, it, it wasn't even really bumpy. It was, really? it was fine. Nice. It was actually really, it was a nice ride. 
Yeah, I didn't get. To, I couldn't really look back while I was going, but it it felt like it was sitting pretty good and like yeah. it turned nice and it didn't never really like chatter. Or yeah, it weird. was stable. It wasn't like there wasn't any play. I didn't. It didn't feel like like wobbly or rickety. If it so, felt really solid. Well, yeah, I think ultimately I'm gonna have to make the tongue of it longer now that we've got a little further along with the camper. It's yeah. gonna, it's gonna need it. Slide it back a little bit and then uh, still on the to do list. My Exhaust pipe is got holes in it. Oh, it does. Yeah. So the, I was hearing a lot of backfiring. I'm like, this thing sounds like it's running like crap. And then I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's why. That'll do it. So I got to fix that. And then the other issue that we're having is our brakes are subpar, very subpar. But Redbeard gave us a pretty good tip, and we're gonna have to try it at some point. I still don't have the time today, but we're gonna try extending this lever so that we have uh, a longer lever arm down here so that we get a little bit more mechanical advantage and can push harder with our foot against this uh, master cylinder. So hopefully that's gonna get us a little bit better brakes. We'll have to bleed them officially because we did a half bleed job at Cars and Cameras, but got the vacuum bleeder, we got plenty of dot three. So things are looking up, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. Okay. Well, like, subscribe, we'll catch you in the next one.